Hi, my name is David Booth. I'm with Koi's Vessel Services, and welcome to our how-to videos. Hey guys, this is David back with Koi's Vessel Services uh, for another addition here to our how-to series. Just uh, wanted to show you here. We have this Merc Cruiser Alpha Alpha One outdrive off of a uh, Bayliner Capri. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get this water pump housing cleaned up. Uh, this boat's been sitting in the water for a very long time, in salt water, without moving. Um, so i got to get this thing cleaned up enough to where we can actually put it back together and have a decent setup. So I'm trying to get one of this crud off of here so I can at least access the bolts and get this water pump housing off. Uh, and inspect the impeller as well, make sure the impeller is working good. So, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up here. Some pretty nasty stuff I'm dealing with. The boat has been sitting in the water for years, very neglected. Um, this hot drive was also one of the tabs right here on this fin was broken, so I'm going to have to get this welded back together, save some money, rather than spend an extra $500 or $1,000, whatever it's going to cost to get another uh, lower unit housing. So, I'm going to try to save money everywhere we can, considering boats are expensive enough. This is the coupling for the water. Also, I'm a little bit concerned because this piece of the coupling goes on top and it looks like it's melted, so I might even have a cooked, uh, cooked upper unit. We're gonna open that up in, uh, here in a little while as well. So, let's go ahead and get See if we can get this water pump housing off on the right side. This is a uh, Alpha One Gen Two off of a 1996. Let's just hook up. We don't tear anything out in the process of trying to get these uh, bolts out of here. They've been sitting for a long time. The last thing we need to do is tear anything up though. Also, this seal for the water pump is not set properly at all. So, it'd be amazing if this thing actually even was in the water. Looks like it's an 8 millimeter socket size or wrench size. I'm just using the wrench. I don't want to strip anything, don't want to break anything. This thing's been sitting in the water for a very long time. Don't know what kind of shape this stuff's in. Gotta be extra careful. I end up having to replace the hardware after replace the hardware. I just don't want to have to try to drill out and tap out the uh, rotted screws, the bolts. Yeah, this is pretty tough stuff here. We'll throw some pictures up and show you what uh, how the drive originally looked before we pulled it off the bow. Right now we have somebody scraping the uh, the barnacles off the bottom of the boat, and we're going to put some uh, 
anti-fouling of ablative paint on it because we plan to actually keep this boat in the water for a bit as well. So it's very important because the boat is going to be trailer to use an ablative paint rather than just a, uh, a regular anti-fouling because an anti-fouling paint, if you put it on a trailer, let it sit for a couple of days, drop it back in the water, it's going to be instant particles again. This stuff smells pretty bad too because all these dead barnacles. This gasket here that just came off of the drive shaft really should never come out of the water pump housing. Let's see if we can uh, salvage it or if it just needs to be replaced. We'll also see the uh, impeller here in a couple of minutes. Finally on to the last bolt holding the water pump housing on. So far they've only come alright. Also, while we have this drive unit out, we're going to check the, um, the speedometer, check for all the lubrication. The gentleman that had the boat um, previously mentioned that the lower drive unit was leaking. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to diagnose that leak. Uh, so it was leaking oil. So that also means that seeing this in the upper drive that it may not have been the lower drive leaking, it may have been the upper drive leaking and causing a overheating scenario. So I hope that's not the case, but if it is, it is. And we got a bit more work in here than we, th than we originally thought. Okay, this water pump housing should be ready to come off. My necklace is coming off. And it seems as though there are pieces uh, looks like just the um, cam came out. Yeah, just the cam for the water pump came out. So the cam just goes rest right here on the side of the um, drive shaft. Make sure you don't lose that when you're putting everything back together. And this impeller is in there pretty tight. Yeah. It's definitely not in good shape. You can see right here this is got some pretty good um, I'm not sure if it's scoring or not yet, but the impeller 
actually looks like it's in really good shape. Impeller feels good, looks good. It smells bad. This could very well be indicative of a, um, an overheating situation. Where, if so, we should have some scoring on the outside of this impeller, which doesn't look like it's too bad. Just looks mostly like there was um, an issue with this housing, or it may have overheated in the past and they just replaced the impeller, doing a cheap job. Alright, so next I'm actually going to start working on getting into this uh, lower housing. So that we can see a little bit more about what's going on with this thing. Reinstalling the gaskets or just being very old or even running the unit a little bit hot, which makes a lot of sense since the previous owner did say that it was leaking a little bit. shape, just a very neglected state. Let's set this off to the side as well. Now looking in here, got quite a bit of rot. This rubber piece here looks like it's in pretty bad shape. There's some rusting, some corrosion going on. This rubber piece might be re reusable. But I won't be able to tell until I get it out of here, cleaned up, rust and debris free. Got it out. I'm making a mess here in my shop. It's alright. Got a little bit of cleanup to do. This piece looks like it's reusable. Anytime you can replace stuff, but in our situation, we don't really have the money to replace every single little thing, just as long as it's within service specs, we're not going to replace it. If it's out of spec, that's good. It almost 
almost looks like somebody, last time this was done, it almost looks like they actually, instead of replacing things, they just uh, put a new gasket over top. start working on getting this prop off of here. Check out the, um, the coupling assembly on the prop and uh, see if any of that stuff's still good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, remember, if you're in the Southeast Florida area and you'd like to get some, uh, some work done on your boat, uh, let us know. Give us a call. Uh, remember, if you, if you like the video as well, like us. And we will be uh, happy to post more videos on more repairs. Thank you.